Hey everyone, Mr. MCA here. This is a lap guide for the new lap time challenge taking place at Lago Major West End with any Group 3 car. And for this video, I'll be using the Group 3 Porsche 911 RSR. To access this event, go on over to Sport Mode, so make sure you have Menu Book number 9 completed. Select the online time trial and you'll see the current time trial events that are going on. I even have a lap guide for the Broadbean Raceway lap time challenge which I'll have linked in the description down below. But for this one, this is a two week event ending at the end of July 26, 2023 where you can use any Group 3 car with BOP turned on and tuning disabled. And we're using the racing medium tires for this lap time challenge. And your goal is to get within the 3% time range of the world record time when the event ends as that is the moment your lap time gets counted. And if you're within the 3% time range, you'll get those 2 million credits. Here are my in-game tags in case you want to see my replay. I'll leave a link to the replay in the description down below. And I just want to mention that Lago Major's track limits are almost non-existent. So you can cheese some of these turns really hard by really taking advantage of the curves as they are still within the track limits. And you'll see what I mean as we go through this lap. So go ahead and bring yourself towards the left side of the track because you're braking just after you pass the track marshal stand that is on the left. So this is before the 50 meter board. Full braking power for a short moment and you're going to turn in just as you reach the 50 meter board. You will make your way down to third gear and you want to ease off of the brakes as you're turning in. So do a bit of trail braking and yeah, go ahead and choose turn number one take advantage of those red and white curbs. For turn number two, you want to use a little bit of braking just as you reach the end of that curb on the left and that end of the curb on the left is also your turning point. Stay on third gear and you really want to take advantage of the entire width of the track to try to get a faster exit and bring yourself towards the right because you're braking before the 50 meter board. So this is right after the new sector starts. You're turning in just as the curb on the right end and doing a bit of trail braking. So ease off of the brakes as you're turning in, taking advantage of the curves and gradually making your way down to second gear. Then brake before the curb on the left ends. And this is where you're going to go down to first gear and you're going to turn in before the gray area on the left ends. And do note that as I'm going through the hairpin, there is a short moment where I'm not using the throttle nor the brakes and that's to let the car turn in a bit more. And you can even see that happen on some of the other turns. But as you go through the hairpin, you want to be really gentle getting on the throttle to make sure that the car doesn't step out too much. Then bring yourself towards the left side of the track because you're braking before the curb on the left ends. You're turning in shortly after that curb on the left ends. Make your way down to second gear and you can cheese a bit of the big Binky Boys curves. Just make sure you try to get the car pointing towards the next section of the track so you can fully accelerate your way out. And for the S's, you can easily take it flat out. Just don't forget to cheese the heck out of the very last turn. But now let's go through all this again, but this time I will not stop the video. So first breaking point, just after passing the Marshall stand on the left, going on to third gear, really cheesing those curves. Again, Lego Major's track limits are almost non-existent. Again, just taking advantage of those curves. Again, those curves are part of the track limit break before the 50 meter board and turning just as a curve on the right ends really taking advantage of those curves. Go down to first gear for the hairpin. Just be nice and gentle getting on the throttle to make sure that the car doesn't step out too much. And bringing yourself towards the left side of the track, braking before the curb on the left ends. And you can cheese the big Binky Boys curves, but be careful about cheesing it too hard as that will mess up your exit. And then the S's, you can easily take a flat out. Just make sure you don't turn in too early. And that is it for this lap guide. And hopefully this lap guide helped you out a bit. And if you like this video, you can press the like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I do have a membership program thing if you want to further support this channel. So I just want to give 
a quick thank you for watching this video, supporting this channel, and another big thank you to the channel members for further supporting this channel. But this is Mr. MC8, the world's most okay player, and I'll see you in the next video.